Now this third question is we are given two matrices A and B where K is any constant and X, Y and Z they are variables. Now we have to find which of the following statements they are correct. Now if we look at determinant of A then determinant of A will be 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, 30 and it is 11, 22, K. Now if we write R2 as R2 minus 10 R1 then it will be 0 0 and 0 that means value of this determinant A is 0. That means this matrix A it is not invertible. So this statement 9 it is correct. Now 10th is there is a unique case such that determinant of A is 0. Now this determinant of A is 0 regardless of values of K. So this k it can take infinitely many values that means this statement 10 it is incorrect. Now 11th one is we are given this matrix equation a b equals 0 0 0. Now basically it is a system of homogeneous equations and in this case determinant of a is equal to 0. So if determinant of a is equal to 0 that means it will have non-trivial solution or infinite solutions. Now basically if we look at these three equations these three equations will be x plus y plus z equals 0 10x plus 20y plus 30z equals 0 and then 11x plus 22y plus kz equals 0 now if k is 33 in that case all these three equations they will represent the same equation x plus y plus z equals to 0 which is equation of plane so in this case, all the solutions of this system of equation will lie on this plane. And if k is unequal to 33, then we have two non-parallel, non-identical planes. 11x plus 22y plus kz equals to 0. And these two planes, they'll intersect in a line. That means the statement 11 is correct. Now this 12th one is, we are given this matrix equation AB equals PQR and it says if it has a solution then Q must be equal to 10P. Now if we write equations for first two rows then we'll get X plus 2Y plus 3Z it is equal to P and then from the second one we'll get 10X plus 20Y plus 30Z and it'll be equal to 2. Now we multiply this first one with 10 we'll get 10X plus 20Y plus 30z it is equal to 10p now the system of equation will be consistent if 10p is equal to q so in order to get a solution for this q must be equal to 10p that means the statement 12 it must be correct so the statements 9 11 and 12 they are correct and statement 10 is incorrect